All right, I found this one on the study plan. It was 2.1.49, I think. And you, this might be the exact one you find on your homework, or it might be a similar one. But these, um, you will find these not only on your test, but obviously on your homework and on the quiz. So there are three pieces or three parts to this. You're going to always use this part of the function right here. If your values for x are less than negative 4, okay, you'll use this part. If your values for x fall between these two numbers, so any number that falls between these two, or notice this little line here, or if it equals negative 4. And then the last part, you have to decide, given your x, if it's 4 or bigger, you're going to use this part. Okay. So the very first thing it asked me was h of negative 4. This in here is always your value of x. What comes out is going to be your y value. Okay, so my x is negative 4. And you might say, which piece do I use? You can only use one piece. Well, here's where it can equal negative 4. So I'm going to use this piece. And it says, all right, well, if you're going to use this one, then your y value is always 4. Okay, these are my favorite because there's like no math to do it all. So if I would have asked you like h of 0, notice 0 comes in here, it would be 4. h of 1 half, well 1 half is in this interval, so your answer would be 4. I mean, I like it. So h of 3, because 3 comes in this interval, it would be 4. Notice this one wants h of negative 3. Negative 3 falls in this interval, so my answer is 4. Love those, okay? When you graph these that are this boring number, this it's just a nice horizontal line. So you can tell that here in a little bit when we have to graph. Okay, here it wants h of four. So look, here's a four here and here's a four here. So I'm like, oh my gosh, which one do I use? Well, it has to be this one because this is where it equals four. So I'm gonna use this function. So plug your four in right there. Four plus nine is 13. So what comes out is my answer. So that's 13. Okay, make sure that's clear. Okay, then it wants h of 8. So <clears throat> notice 8 is greater than 4. So I'm definitely going to pick this piece. So plug your 8 in here, and 8 plus 9 is 17. Okay, one thing they didn't ask, they didn't even use this one. So let me do an example. <clears throat> what if they would have asked like h of negative 10? And I'll write that down. H of, what if they would have asked this one? I don't think they do, but what if? Well, I would use this piece because negative 10 is less than negative 4. So I would use this part. So I would plug in a negative 10 right there. Well, negative 3 times negative 10, two negatives is a positive, it's 30. 30 minus 15 is 15. So my answer would be 15. So let me just say one more time. These values in here are your x's. What comes out are your y's. All right.